The peregrine falcon is a medium-sized bird of prey. Uh, it's about the size of a crow. Um, eats, feeds primarily on other birds, small to medium-sized songbirds, small ducks, things like that. Um, peregrines are kind of low density in terms of their distribution. Um, so you'll find peregrines where there's decent habitat. That could be cliffs, that could be buildings, that could be bridges. CCB, William and Mary, they, they brought the birds to us in, in pet carriers. Uh, we met them at the cliff site, near the hack site. Uh, we helped those, get those birds banded and color taped. You can do hacking with raptors, with a lot of raptors, for, for example, eagles and ospreys. So you, you get these young birds, you put them in a hack box, it's a protected box where they can actually see out. They get provisioned and fed through sort of a trap door uh, for a period of days until they're ready to be released, until they can fledge on their own. Um, so that's a period for the falcons of about two, two and a half weeks. Uh, and at that point then we do what's called a, a soft release and um, that's when we open the door very gradually. We, we sort of put out an array of food for them so we don't want those birds to sort of just head for the hills or bolt as we say. And, um, and this time, this time around, this uh, most recent hack it worked quite well. We, had, we did have one or two birds fly but the birds stayed pretty close and they acclimated, acclimated to their surroundings and were able to come back and feed. When we do the hacking or the restoration work, we have um, a site that's set up where people can actually come through and drive through and, and talk with our monitoring folks, our hack site attendants, and learn about the falcons and learn about the restoration program. Again, they're an apex predator. They help control excess uh, small bird populations. Um, they're sort of one of those iconic species that sort of really resonate with a lot of visitors and create uh, sort of that, that uh, a tie with education, with environmental education. So uh, I think it helps young people, helps visitors see peregrine falcons, and it helps them relate more to nature.